Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Thursday. It is uh, still cold outside. 40 degrees we had on the thermometer this morning. So uh, I'm inside today again. Hopefully next week I can get back outside for those devotionals and, and be in the yard again uh, a little bit warmer next week. So, But I'm here inside today and I and, uh, hope you are doing well today. Check in time. How are you? Uh, if you have a question or a comment, uh, please post it below. I do have my coffee here and my Wartburg Seminary mug, so cheers, church. Good stuff. So our devotion for today comes from The Word in Season, written by Pastor Elizabeth Jager of St. Luke, Luke Lutheran Church in Sheboygan Falls. And the scripture reading is Psalm 103, verses 1 to 13. Thanksgiving for God's goodness is what uh, the headline of this psalm is. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. God will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is God's steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As, the father, as a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. And the devotional is titled, oops, wrong booklet. Here we go. Word and season. Praise and thanks. And the theme verse is verse 11. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love. One of the first Bible passages I recall memorizing as a child was Psalm 103. It was part of, a vaca part of vacation Bible school one summer. Psalm 103 is a psalm of praise and thanksgiving for all of the benefits of knowing God. If you are ever feeling down, Psalm 103 is great to turn to in order to be lifted up. It serves as a reminder of God's goodness even in the most difficult of circumstances. When we sin, God forgives. When we are sick, God heals. Even in death. God redeems us. God treats us with compassion. With, I'm sorry, God treats us with the compassion of a loving parent. We may at times take our blessings for granted. But Psalm 103 encourages us to thank and praise God for all the good gifts God showers upon us. Psalm 103 encourages us to thank and praise God for all the good gifts God showers upon us. In a time of pandemic and economic stress and wildfires uh, out west, terrible wildfires, just amazing, um, sad, amazingly sad to see all the, the pictures and video from out there. Um, yeah, devastating. It, it, when we focus on... Uh, solely on the bad news that comes our way, we forget to thank God for all the blessings that we do have. And uh, she talks about memorizing. This is one of the first uh, Bible passages that she memorized. Uh, uh, some of us are good at memorization. Some of us have to work a little harder. That's probably me. And, and some aren't good at all at memorization. I remember in uh, seminary, we had to memorize Luther's small catechism for our Lutheran heritage class. Um, and we would recite that to a senior seminarian just so they, and we'd get checked off on, on memorizing the small catechism. 
And so to learn that, I would put Caleb in his stroller and I'd walk around campus with my small catechism open and, you know, uh, what does this mean? We are to fear and love God so that this is most certainly true. Um, I, don't, I don't have it memorized now, but luckily on my phone I have this Luther Small Catechism app and you can have the same thing too. Go to the app store and download it and it's always there for you. Um, and really, you know, thanks be to God that the skill of memorization is not uh, what we depend on for our salvation, right? Salvation is a blessing from God. Uh, the strength that we receive from God to go through these tough times is a blessing from God. The strength of our community as we um, touch base with each other through the phone or through mail or you know, through these daily devotionals, um, that is a blessing from God. And, and so we give thanks. And we have to remember to give thanks to God, thanks and praise for the great gift of salvation and for all the other great gifts God showers upon us, all the other blessings. So be of strong heart and good courage, dear church. Keep yourself safe and well. Wash your hands, practice physical distancing, wear your masks. Uh, as the body of Christ in this world, we share the light of Christ and we show our love for our neighbor. Keep California and Oregon and Washington and Colorado and all the states out west, all those people, all those firefighters in your prayers, especially as we, we um, remember tomorrow, September 11th, and the firefighters and first responders who lost their lives and the people who lost their lives uh, in the Trade Center attacks. That, that'll be tomorrow. So uh, firefighters, uh, they do an amazing job. And uh, yeah, they need our prayers. So keep them in your prayers. Let's pray. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. May all my being bless God's holy name. Amen. See you tomorrow for another fun t-shirt Friday devotional. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.